My zoo bestie, marketing director Naki Carter, let us in before anyone else to see the new Lorikeet Loft exhibit, which opens tomorrow at the Palm Beach Zoo. So you realize you're the marketing director, right? And right. You, your function is to market. She had just gotten her hair done for Thanksgiving dinner, and she was worried about something. That's right. I'm worried. I'm worried about the love, TA, the love that they might show me. And I realize it's supposed to be good luck, but, but I don't need any before tomorrow. The number one love and the number two love. Exactly. <laughs> As construction workers put the final touches on the loft, you can see her hiding in safety outside the beautiful new atrium. You'll notice Naki's not coming in here because she's worried about her hair. Eventually, I was able to coax her inside to feed the lorikeets with me, but it turns out she has another fear. <laughs> Thankfully, the staff is trained to handle such situations. As it turns out, Naki almost had a close call, ruining her Thanksgiving hairdo. Thanksgiving hair almost got ruined. <laughs> I, for one, had a fantastic time. I feel like I'm in a Mary Poppins movie. <laughs> I think it's exciting because it's interactive. People can come in, feed the lorikeets, learn a little more about them, and grow to love them. They like you. They... They like their new exhibit, and I think they're grateful. <laughs> and zoo goers will be able to feed the birds nectar in biodegradable cups. Got some nice organic apple juice, which they love. The new attraction is included with park admission, and you can feed the birds for just a couple of dollars. If you want to feed them, it's $2 a cup or three cups for $5. Got something on your mind? <laughs> <laughs> for Taste and See South Florida, I'm T.A. Walker for WPTV.